Welcome back everyone, I'm Blade, and we are back on Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies, where we are going to be doing a one window challenge this time. I know I've probably been doing a lot of these like one window, two window challenges, or whatever you want to call them. And yet, yeah, here's another one, another one window challenge. I may have already made a video of this one before, but... Now I kind of know a bit more of what I'm doing on it. <laughs> Let's get into this. Let's see how many rounds I can actually do on this one window challenge. Go ahead and get the extra 100 points from all these perks. So I don't know exactly how well or even maybe how bad this might go. But I do know we have one window. We have a line of weapons right there. We also have a couple weapons behind this uh, barricade as well. We have the mystery box right there, the line of uh, perps right there as well. And already this is starting to go kind of bad. I can never remember which one of these is the weapons that I tend to like to use. So, let's go with this one first. And I know it's one of these other ones that I like to use a lot, but I can't remember which one it is because so many of them look the same. Yeah, it really kind of sucks. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and get the nuke right now. Um... Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one, okay. This literally looks like a freaking rifle. Like this does, actually, kind of. <laughs> oh, 5,000. To get through that uh, barricade. Or barrier, I guess. Now, I have actually tried to get like the thunder gun or whatever out of the mystery box, but I don't actually know what weapons this map has. Uh, I don't even know what like wonder weapons this map seems to have. But I do know that there are a couple weapons that I definitely like to use. I've already got my starter weapons that I tend to like to use on this map. That is, I've actually I've played this map a couple times previously. And it is a very easy map, in all honesty. At least in my opinion, it's a very, very easy map to play. Other people might have a bit of a different opinion on that. Go ahead and turn on power real quick. Get Jug without going down by a zombie that likes to run at me. Go ahead and get Jug real quick. So, up in the rounds, this map does tend to get a little more difficult. I've also noticed that sometimes the zombies too tend to kind of glitch out a little bit. Let's go ahead and get double tap real quick. And by the zombies glitching out, I literally mean that sometimes up in the higher rounds while I'm shooting the zombies, they tend to like get stuck at this window. Not even hopping over the barrier, but they just tend to like get stuck behind the window, which is interesting. So with them being stuck behind the window, I mean, of course, that makes this a lot easier for me because it gives me kind of a little break, per se, of shooting zombies. So I can, like, reload all my weapons, I can do whatever, really. But, at the same time, I don't necessarily need the break. I will actually use um, the death machine a bit on this map, but not right now. I don't actually need it right now. Use 3,000 to... And get a uh, sleight of hand. That'll definitely be useful, especially for later on. And we all know I don't tend to use quick revive. I also don't use Widow's Wine. And Vulture Aid, I think, is the other one I don't tend to use much of. Vulture Aid, I think it's Vulture Aid that I don't use much. I don't use it because I don't really, I'm not, uh, I should say, I don't enjoy the fact of... Oh, shit. Just buy an ammo now. I don't enjoy... On the screen... 
having that perk and the game telling me where all the weapons are, where the mystery box is, where all the perks are, where all of them are, where the um, where the power is, where pack punch is, bubble gum. I don't enjoy the game telling me like where all that is, especially on like one window challenge or something as simple as this. I don't exactly enjoy the game showing me where all that stuff is when all of it's like right here anyways. It just puts a bit more work on graphics processing when I really don't need it. Now for a map such as, let's say for example, Buried on Black Ops 2, I mean I can see how having something like that would be a bit more useful. But on a map like this that's really that freaking simple, I don't see why that would be much of any sort of use at all really. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get stamina up and get mule kick as well. I can't remember which one of those perks does the electric reloading thing. Or there's elemental pop or electric cherry. I think it's electric cherry, but I can't remember for sure. But I'm probably not going to get it this time anyways. Yeah, that's another one I don't really see no reason as to why I should get it. Now, I guess I did get the death machine even though it's a really early round. It's only round 11 and I got the death, death machine, I know, but... I just figured might as well use it. The game gave me so I mean, might as well. Why not, right? Alright, let's go ahead and see what this might give. Tombstone. Definitely not a perk I need, nor want, nor I'm going to use. Now, I've heard by a couple of other content creators, when they've played like custom maps like this, they play with all kinds of other like mods and whatever, I've heard from them that apparently Getting Deadshot is really kind of useless. It's kind of a really bad mod, to say the least. Mod. Perk. Not a mod. Deadshot is not a mod. But it is a really bad perk. To say the least. But I don't know. I like getting it because it does actually give a higher chance of getting headshots. Quick revive? I don't want that. So I do like to use it because it's a higher chance for headshots. Especially in a map like this, I mean, it's definitely useful for when I'm like primarily doing headshots. As you guys can probably already see, I'm like primarily doing headshots here. Right, round 13. Quick revive again. Interesting that I now got that twice in a row from the Wonder Kid. Don't know why, but okay. <laughs> so I might actually go ahead and pack a punch here soon. Probably pack a punch this weapon. Or this is also one of the best weapons to use, especially pack a punch on another map that I like to play. The Foo's Foo Ball. I'll get that, why not? Another useless perk to get on this map. A lot of perks on this map, in my opinion, are very useless to get. But it's only this map that I say that for. Like, PhD, Flopper, uh, Widow's Wine, the Tombstone, probably. I mean, a lot of these perks are just quite useless to have on this map just because of the way how this map is built tombstone don't need it don't want it <laughs> now i must also say that this map does have an interesting little like glitch per se in it 
I'm not sure if it's called a glitch or if it's just like a mistake in the map. But there is something definitely wrong with this map because uh, last time I played this map, I got to like what around 48 or something, 42, 48, somewhere around there, and I got downed. But it was not from a reason that you would normally be downed from. It's not because I just got like overran from zombies and I got down because of a wave that I couldn't control or whatever. I got down because of a literal invisible zombie. And there's also something that in one of my other videos I witnessed as well. I noticed an invisible zombie was actually attacking me. Don't know why or how that's even a thing. But... Oh, I can't tell what that is. I think that's electric cherry? I don't know. Yeah, an invisible zombie was attacking me in one of my other videos. And I was being attacked and I was trying to figure out what zombie was attacking me so I could shoot it. It was in what, the 30s or something, like around 30 something I think, somewhere around there. That all of a sudden I got an invisible zombie. I don't even know if it was a crawler or if it was an actual zombie. But I noticed that it was attacking me because it was literally the last zombie left in the round. And I was looking around going, what the hell is attacking me? Because I didn't see anything. But then something hit me yet again. And I was like, what the hell? So I was just like so confused at that point, what the hell is going on? And then I want to say either I spawned a nuke or there was a nuke from another zombie that I kill that that's actually when I noticed that it was an invisible zombie plus there was also a zombie counter I remember that now there was a zombie counter as well so that's another reason now I knew that it was an invisible zombie because the zombie counter because the nuke kind of showed me that there was a zombie that it was there but wasn't <laughs> So, that was quite interesting. But I went down because of an invisible zombie. And that might be what happens here as well, since it's already happened on this map before. It might happen again, I might be able to show you guys yet again, going down by an invisible zombie. I don't know if I will, but what will happen on this run? I'm running out of ammo a little too quickly now. This is definitely one of the weapons I highly enjoy using, especially being pack punched. But also another reason why I like to use it is because it does have a lot of ammo to it. Now this is my favorite one to use on this map, because for one, it is strong as hell. But for two, when I pack punch that LMG, Oh my god, the amount of ammo it has. The only thing I don't like about using the LMG on this map is the fact that it's reloading. It is seriously that fucking slow. It is just ridiculous. I already have 30,000 points. Jesus. Yeah, you guys can already see 
the magazine capacity is 116 plus an additional 375. So, the ammo capacity of the LMG is already kind of insane. But then when it gets packed and punched, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> One of the main primary reasons I love to do this because it's just like a ridiculous weapon to use on this map. It is so OP. I don't think, I want to say I don't think I've actually been up to around 50 on this map yet. So this might be my first time going up to around 50 if I reach it. But I'm definitely, this is one of the maps I really wanted to show you guys me playing because it is a very fun map to play. Sure, might as well. Why not, right? See if I get that shot. Widow's Wine. I hate Widow's Wine so much. Widow's Wine. The one. The one perk from Barry. Quick Revive. Those are like the main perks. I just legit hate the most. I mean, I guess Widow's Wine just probably depends on the map, really. I'm not fully sure, but that one may just depend on the map. Try again and see if I get it. Oh, I got that pink one. I can't see what that is. Loading on this weapon is so simple, so easy and quick. Whoa. Okay, I was going down another 22. That does not happen. Now this is kind of why I like to do on this map is just a lot of times just like stay back here and just let them come into the window and just like pick them off like two three at a time. But then picking them off like this does right can actually get boring and it can definitely get repetitive. I want to say elemental pop is the one that treats your weapons like they're packed punch more than once. And I think Electric Cherry is the one that electrifies your reloading. I want to say. Probably going to get Elemental Pop here soon. Though. I mean, it is still pretty early in the round. I don't think I really need it. I think that would be probably a little too OP. Jesus. Oh, just did not want to die. Holy crap. Whoa. Now, something like that is usually the reason I go down. I'm trying to pick up the drops and I just get like overrun by zombies. <laughs> I love mystical on this map sometimes, especially in the higher rounds, because then if the zombies start coming, uh, becoming a bit much, then I can just get the insta kill and just like mow them down. Kind of like what I'm doing now, just but the insta kill instead of the <laughs> Now there's like barely any coming. And there's no other perks really to get. Besides for if I'm lucky enough to get dead shot, PhD. Oh, and that's when I go down. 
At around 20. <laughs> yeah, I had who's who. But the who's who perk still confuses me. But then again, being at 25, and then the fact that it just spawned me a second time with the pistol? Are you serious? But how many zombies there are the confined area that it's at? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, really? You spawned me at a different location with a horde of zombies and a pistol? Wow. Just wow. <laughs> But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that little playthrough. Apparently, this time was kind of a bad luck to go through. Went to around 25, but that was a one-room challenge. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, definitely be sure to leave a like. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. It is completely free. Helps out me, the videos, and the channel quite a bit. And it also shows me that you do want to, in fact, see more. Pretty soon, I will actually be going back to my uh, two-video everyday streak like I was doing. It's just right now, it's a bit difficult with things that are happening in my life. But, I will be going back to that, and I'm also going to be getting a brand new graphics card for my computer. So you guys will definitely see a lot more detailed maps, and things will be running a whole hell of a lot more smooth. Along with, once I get that from my computer, I can finally start streaming. I know you guys will probably enjoy that. But anywho, without me rambling on for days, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Adios.